Well, as schools open tomorrow, the government says no learner must be sent back home over non-payment of fees. The Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education has, however, advised parents to be responsible by ensuring they honour their payment plans. First school term always sets the academic tone as new pupils will be joining at different levels, starting from early childhood development, Form 1s and Form 5s who will be joining later. The issue of school fees has been a challenge on the first days of the school term, and the government says as they continue working towards achieving inclusive education, no learner must be returned home due to non-payment of fees, but parents must agree on a payment plan with school authorities. Basing on the constitution and also basing on the on the um, on the dictates of uh, the African Charter, um, as well as uh, a the AU Charter, as well as uh, um, UN uh, 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 dictates, we have said no learner should be sent back home because of non-payment. But we have also said at the same time, parents should realize the fiscal situation that our government is in. So just like government, they are also obligated to raise resources to support the schooling of their, their children. The government, however, clarified that those who are in boarding schools should pay their fees to enable those institutions to run efficiently. Permanent Secretary in the Primary and Secondary Education Ministry, Dr. Sylvia Otete Masango, added, they have noted with concern school authorities that are forcing parents to buy uniforms from schools at inflated prices. Schools cannot force parents to buy uniforms from the school. Parents are free to buy uniforms from wherever they think they are getting the uniforms at affordable uh, prices. What the schools should do is to specify the type of uniform uh, uh, for that particular school and also maybe advise parents on the sheds because this is the other challenge that schools normally face. Government says it is also continuing with the school feeding program for primary school children and called for community support to ensure its success. Currently, the country's overall school going population exceeds 4 million. Mercy Wolf, ZBC News, Harare.